Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the thinking that went into a decision like that. Right. Well, when we did the package, the 2017 transportation package, funding package, we really wanted to work on making sure that the public could see their money being used well. And it was really important for us to meet some goals of a balanced transportation system, of a transportation system that worked on maintenance and modernization of roads, worked on safe routes to school, and really made sure that we gave funds to transit and other types of, you know, very very different uh, types of modes and that we needed to have good use of dollars, good use of resources, and that we had a, a variety of resources so we could fund both highways and transit and other parts of that balanced system. And it was important that there be milestones along the way or, or uh, if, if things hadn't been done, this gas tax wouldn't go into effect. Right. Tell me a little bit about that. Exactly. So uh, we made sure that we sort of phased in the gas tax increase. And so there'd be like a two cents and followed by another two cents over a, a number of years over decades actually, so that we could really make sure that we had met some of the goals or outputs of the product. And that means the right um, products being finished in an efficient way and making sure that we could actually finance all of the major components of the program that we were feeling were important in many areas of the state. So not just in the metropolitan Portland area, but also in eastern and, and southern Oregon. And as a lawmaker, having worked on this extensively, mm -hmm. how do you feel about the progress, uh, even specifically that the department has made on this? I think that if you go to the website, we have actually what we consider to be a brand new tool for the public. So the citizens can check it out themselves. It's not how I feel about it. It's how do they feel about it. And so we have an opportunity for them to look at separate projects, to look at costs, to see if we came in you know, on budget and on time, and to really make sure that we are finishing the projects that we said were priorities. We also have the wonderful Transportation Commission that also is reviewing, is also helping in that uh, observation, and also in really working with our ODOT department to do the very best work that they can. I'm just going to get a couple quick cutaway shots okay. for, for use in editing. That was great. I okay. plenty to work with. So All right. I appreciate you being willing oh, to Oh, you sort of absolutely bet. Like this, well, uh, I mean, I didn't give any specifics because I didn't know if you already no, no, had no, other... No, I, I'll, I'll take okay. care of all the specifics. All right. It was okay. really just more that general idea of accountability. Yeah. We already talked to uh, Representative McLean and, and really spoke to her about the legislature wanting ODOT to have accountability and how important that was, both to the legislature and to the citizens of Oregon. I wanted to focus with you a little bit on, since you're, you chair the commission that oversees the department, here you've seen these milestones that are allowing this gas tax increase to go into effect. Tell me about your feelings about the, the, this, these accountability measures and how the department is meeting them. So House Bill 2017, as you said, set up a set of uh, gates for accountability and transparency. The 2017 legislation raised a lot of money, over $5 billion, and the legislature uh, decided to, uh, to have incremental increases in the gas tax, four two-cent increases over a period of years, conditioned on with each increment that ODOT deliver a fairly extensive list of uh, uh, deliverables. And uh, really, in an effort to try and provide accountability as we went and provide a little check-in throughout, and if things weren't being done, then that would prevent addition, the next increment of funding from occurring. So I thought it was a very inventive way to get at the question of accountability and transparency. And I think ODA has really stepped up uh, and done what it needed to do to make sure we were uh, achieving those goals and the Transportation Commission's role in this really is a very active oversight function with respect to the agency. So we've stayed in very close touch. We talk about the, about a completion of these tasks, of various of these tasks at every single Transportation Commission meeting since I've been on the last two years and now as chair uh, I am continuing to have us look at those and we have now reached the first gate and uh, we have uh, we have uh, met all of the goals uh, and all of the requirements in order to get this first uh, two cent increase in the gas tax. And it's really a credit to the agency, I think, for the effort they've made to organize the work, do the work,
complete the work and report the work out to the legislature and to us as a commission. So it's, an, it's, a, um, it's, a, it's a great effort and of course they're going to need to continue to do that to get the, the next funding and the funding is needed to do the project. So I think it's a system that works effectively so far and you know we're very focused on completing the work and, and getting the additional funding as we go along here over the next several years. I was looking at my watch yeah. thinking, wait a minute, that's the time we're supposed to hit this next item. Yeah, I kept I kept it right on schedule if I could to see if it could be done. Yeah.